I'm Brooke and this is Brayden. Brayden Palmer. We live on our boat, which is a Norhaven 55 trawler with our two kids. And yeah, we've been living on our boat for two years and we're very active and we're in the water a lot. When this company reached out to us, we were interested on this one. We actually were very surprised by how well this thing works. So do you wanna show everyone the product? Yeah, so so what it, what it is is I've, the kids and I have always wanted to get an underwater propel, what do, what do we wanna call it? An underwater it? propel We scooter. call it an underwater scooter. Underwater scooter. But we've always wanted to get one, but they've always been more money than I've ever wanted to oh, spend. Oh, like way too much money. So, so when we found this 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 model here, that was actually at a decent price point, I kind of was skeptical. I didn't really think. I don't know. I don't know about that. How well is it gonna work? And we tried it, and they sent us one. Yeah. Do you want to hear? We tried it, and we were actually blown away by it. Here it is. We actually so, had other people try it too that we know, and everyone was surprised by it. So. Yes, and some yeah, people of all different sizes. Let's put yeah. it that. Let's put it that way. Yes. All different sizes, and it works for. It works for. A, it it works. It works really good. Oh, it's a sub blue. It is the White Shark Mix Pro. I believe is what it is. Yeah, the the, the Mix Pro, and it is seven point eight pounds. It's not heavy. Seven point eight and pounds. It's small. It'll give you up to. It it takes two hours to charge. I'll give you up to 60 minutes of battery life, which I I, mean, I don't know how that works. We've not used it for 60 minutes, but it says under normal water conditions, it will give you up to 60 minutes of life, which is awesome for diving and whatnot. That's, so, a, good, that's a good amount. Yeah, it's uh, safe to fly with. Just check with you know your flight. So we recommend that you can day, just pop out the battery, and if you pop are, out the battery and separate it. batteries are they? Lithium ion batteries. Yes. So we found that you should always pop up the batteries because anyway, TSA likes that better and they don't go through all of your yeah, stuff. Yeah, so you can take it on a trip with you, actually pretty doable. It's not big. It's enough that the kids can actually carry it around as well. Um, it has two different speeds depending on how you hold the trigger and it... The double pull gives you a little faster. We, how faster fast speed, was it again? A couple miles an hour. Yeah, it's, we'll we'll put the exact speed somewhere right here for you to see. But it's, it's faster. Let's put it this way. Let's put you, it this way. It's fast enough that you have to wear the right swimming suit when you wear it. I learned that lesson the hard <laughs> way. I was in a bikini and we went really fast enough that <laughs> it moves you pretty quickly through the water. It um also if you're a diver, it's been tested 50 meters deep uh, and it doesn't leak. It, you know, safely is probably five meters down, but you can go really deep. It has a mount on it for a GoPro. It's got the mount right here for the GoPro. So I like to use this 360 GoPro on here because once I, in editing, I can get a picture of myself and a picture of where I'm going on the same shot. It also has a, um, a, a mount that you can put your phone on here. Yeah. Um, so if you trust your phone underwater, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. So. Some reasons we use the underwater scooter are for vlogging, obviously, so we can document what we're doing. Brayden used it to inspect the bottom of our hole, and he uh, went go going too fast and scraped his back on the barnacles. Because it needs to be cleaned. Yes. But, um, so we're, we're a six and a half foot draft. So um, I don't really trust myself diving underneath the hole to look at it. Uh, because just I just can't hold my breath that long. It's pretty and far down. It is pretty far down when you consider the when whole you have thing. To go 18, down feet, and over. 18 feet wide and six and a half feet down. But with this, you can do it. You can go under, kind of look around. Did you go all the way down? Yeah. Oh, I had no yeah, idea. You, you can go down and get that and That's get that in and just and just check it out. I'm not staying down there for long, but I can see. Oh no, there's no. It's good. It looks. Yeah. It looks. Nice. Again, we would not endorse a product that we didn't actually test first and like because it's really, really important to us. So one of the questions but that yeah. I had was, I'm sure it works in fresh water, but how well does it work with salt? Nothing lasts forever in salt, but they've actually done a corrosion, a corrosion test, test on it. It was like how many hours? 
oh man, 158 hours or something. Maybe longer, maybe less, I don't know. And this just is test how it we and it's all, but We'll I think also put the exact stat right here. The, the, the nice thing about that is that I know that they've thought of that. I know they thought of it. I still wash it down with fresh water. They also after did After we it. use it because it's, uh, it's yeah. uh, who, why wouldn't Salt you? Salt ruins everything. They also did a sandblast test too. Really? Yeah, wow. they sandblasted the scooter. <laughs> or the underwater scooter to see. But it's at, the, it's at a really, really good price point. What's the price point? we'll put right here as well. I don't want to misquote, but I think it's like $3.99. Um, and yeah, you can find it on Kickstarter. It's a great campaign. This is a, their newest model and we really like it. So, so if you've wanted something to propel you underwater, but you don't want to, you don't want to buy one grams. of those. Yeah, there's there's some very pricey ones under there. Um, and you know what? When you're snorkeling in current, it's not even pleasant if you don't have something like this. It's oh yeah, it's we snorkeled just cumbersome. in a current. It was four knots of current, and it was actually quite difficult. And when we had this, we could uh, we didn't have to think about it. And We're snorkeling in it. no current also makes it a lot more fun. You can think, oh, there's some life over there. And Zippo. Do I really want to swim there? Well, And the of kids I do. like riding on our backs when we're trying it out. So again, um, we've really enjoyed it and we can't wait to show you guys all more footage uh, from our travels coming up. So the reason that we're not giving you footage of us using it is because they shut down all of our beaches and now the water that we're in is not really good underwater. It has a water. lot of jellyfish in it right here. So we will we'll be showing you footage coming up here shortly, but I we can't wanted wait. to talk about it. I can't wait to get some and good underwater we, stuff. Yeah, we wanted to try it first before we were gonna like endorse it and we do like it. So we'll get footage and then we'll share that with you guys when we're able to get it. But. Yeah, it's the White Shark Mix Pro again, and by Sub Blue, and you know what? We love you know, it. Another party that we were with that tried it out. This is why he wanted it. He thought that it would be great because he has this. I, he has a concern that he's going to be underway with a flotilla, so maybe another boat, and he's going to need to get parts from that other boat. Yes, yeah, because they're going to cross the Atlantic. And so he's going to. He thinks I might have to swim to the other boat to get a part. That's but true. But that could be kind of cumbersome. But if I have that. If I have this, you don't have to worry about it. I would. It would be a lot easier to make that swim from one boat. Jumping to Jumping from boat to boat. These are the things we think of living the funny, out on the water. The funny, uh, it would be fun for a It's pool. a safety device. It's the same thing as a uh, as a. Um... That's how you can justify it. <laughs> it must go in your essential survival kit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you guys uh, give it a try and enjoy it. It's pretty awesome. Oh, it says rinse with fresh water. So. Yeah. There so you I go. think they they tested it to see if. Yeah, obviously that's smart to do with anything in salt water, you want to rinse it. But if you don't, it's not going to break it. That's yeah. why they did the corrosion test, so. Give it a try. Okay. Alright, bye.